Mendix 10.21 is out now and is packed with new features like the security overview, variables for pages, the training partner finder, and more. Grab your favorite drink, which is tea, of course, and get comfortable because this is a big release. Use the chapters to jump to the topics that you're interested in. Let's dive in. Mendix provides comprehensive control over your application security, though managing it can be challenging sometimes. Regular security reviews are a common strategy and now made easier with the security overview. This lets you view all security-related aspects in a single report, which makes the review process a lot easier. After selecting a user role, all the access granted to that role is shown in a structured view. This way, you can go through the application module by module to ensure that your access rights are in order. And if they don't want to work in Studio Pro, you can always export the report to Excel. You can access the security overview via the app menu in Studio Pro once security is set to production. Read more about it in our documentation. Software composition is now out of beta and available for everyone. If you take security seriously, or if you have trouble managing component usage across your application landscape, make sure you check out Software Composition today. You can access it by going to the Software Composition page in Control Center or the Mendix portal to get started. There you can view the component dependencies used in an application environment. If a component becomes vulnerable or unpreferred, you can quickly identify its impact radius via all components and contact the responsible teams to work on a solution. Everyone at Mendix is looking for ways that you can shorten your time from idea to outcome, and variables for pages and snippets does exactly that because it will reduce several steps when building pages while simplifying your models. Just like parameters, you can define variables for pages and snippets that you can use the same way as attributes on widgets, allowing users to view and edit their values. The variables can have a default value based on page parameters and expressions. They can also be passed to microflows and nanoflows as parameters or used in expressions, including conditional visibility and editability. We think this feature is pretty awesome because you no longer need help from a non-persistent entity, microflow or data view to get the job done. Simply create the local variables and use them in your widgets saving precious time and brain space. For example, you can use variables to quickly create a search form, a login page, or a simple switch to show or hide widgets. Say bye-bye to the page helper object. Variables are here to stay. A major shout out to Marius van der Knaap for posting this on the idea form. Thanks, Marius. How cool would it be if you could turn your UI designs into functioning Mendix pages with just a few clicks? or create a page simply by describing it. Guess what? We're closer than you might think. Maya Page Generation is now in public beta and brings these dreams a little closer to reality. You can use Maya Page Generation to create pages by uploading an image of a design, like a Figma mockup or a screenshot, along with a descriptive prompt of what you want. Maya then generates a Mendix page based on this input. You can also use prompts without an image to describe and generate pages from scratch. Maya Page Generation integrates with your existing domain model, which lets it connect data views to entities and input widgets to attributes. If you want to try out this feature, make sure you activate it in the Preferences. Go to Edit, Preferences, the new Features tab, Maya, and then Enable Page Generator Experimental. Then open a page and click Generate Page in the toolbar. This will open the Maya chat where you can upload an image with a prompt. But be careful because in this current version, it will replace any pre-existing content on the page. Because this feature is still in beta, it does have some limitations. If you like this feature, let us know. We'll be extending its features in the coming months. Check out the documentation for a complete list of current limitations. You can now create extensions for Studio Pro using TypeScript and JavaScript, so you can extend and customize your Studio Pro experience. For example, you can build extensions to boost productivity, automate workflows, and integrate seamlessly with your development process. Think of extensions that enable custom governance tooling, better product integrations, or anything else you can think of. 
you can access the API via NPM right now at this link. Get started with extensions with the Extensibility API documentation that you can find at this link. How will you extend your Studio Pro experience? Let us know. Unit testing is an essential part of ensuring that your Mendix application is reliable, stable, and meets the requirements. By writing tests for your microflows and custom Java actions, you can catch bugs and regressions earlier in the development cycle and provide confidence in your microflow logic and maintainability. To make it easier for you to write and run unit tests for your microflow logic and custom Java actions, we're updating our unit testing module. The new module includes the following new and improved features. A clear and concise unit test report that shows the test results and test failure details visually. The report now also supports the evaluation of all assertions in a test, making it faster to find all failing assertions in one run. The assert and report set logging activities are now available in the Microflow toolbox, so you can get started right away. And unit tests are now disabled on production environments by default, so you can't run them by accident. All these improvements will help you create and run tests more efficiently, which will save you time and errors. You can download the unit testing module from the Marketplace right now. At long rest, there is a new feature in the REST client. The Import OpenAPI feature is now in public beta. You can import requests from an OpenAPI contract directly into a consumed REST request document. Request components, such as the URL, method, parameters, and headers are automatically populated based on information provided in the contract. With this capability, you no longer need to spend time manually adding and configuring each REST request one by one. Learn more about this new feature in the documentation. Try it out and let us know what you think. If you're looking for an official Mendix training partner, we've got you covered with the Training Partner Finder. With the latest updates, we've made it easier for training partners to publish their trainings and made finding the right training easier for users. Publishing a training is now a lot simpler after we removed a bunch of unnecessary fields. And for those looking for a training, we've added new filters, sorting, and search options so you can much more easily find the right training for you. We're confident that these updates will help training partners publish their offering more efficiently and help you find the right training with minimal effort. Go to the Training Partners page to find your next training. We just released version 3.3 of the Team Center extension, and we're thrilled to announce the ability to generate domain models and microflows so you can relate Team Center objects right from your Mendix apps. Other enhancements include improved error handling, better UX for searching and attaching dataset journeys, and filtering options based on type in the Properties or Relations side panel. Plus, our latest sample app has been updated with new functionality that lets you relate workspace objects. Check out these new features today by downloading the Team Center extension from the Mendix Marketplace. And that's it for this release. For a full list of new features, improvements, and fixes, check out the release blog on mendix.com blog or read the release notes on docs.mendix.com. Download Studio Pro 10.21 at marketplace.mendix.com to use all these new features right now. If you like these videos and want to see more, make sure you subscribe to get all the notifications. I'm Jan de Vries, your low-code host, and I'll see you in the next video. All right, for reals is this time. Because this page is and brings it, brings it, brings it, download it, download it.